A provider of non-fusion and fusion spinal implant solutions, Paradigm Spine is committed to improving quality of life in patients with spinal disease. The mission of Paradigm Spine is to provide only best-in-class products to spine surgeons and patients and to, above all, be surgeon-centric, indication-specific, and data-driven. Keith Cruz decided he'd been living with pain and weakness in his back and legs long enough. Start out maybe every six months I would tweak it and then it got progressively worse. Then to the doctors, uh, they've talked about surgery, they talked about doing physical therapy, which I'd done, stretching exercises, doing sit-ups. Nothing ever worked and finally I started, they decided we had to do surgery and I was diagnosed with spinal stenosis. Keith is not alone. Defined as a narrowing of the spinal canal, spinal stenosis is diagnosed and affects more than two million people nationwide each year. This debilitating disease places pressure on the spinal cord and nerves, causing unrelenting back and leg pain that can impact even simple daily activities. The most frequent uh, occurrence of spinal stenosis occurs in the middle-aged to elderly patients, you know, the fifth and sixth and even the seventh decade of life. Uh, is where uh, this uh, condition tends to cluster. In Keith's case, we had to take into consideration his youth and relative activity. Uh, his options would entail laminectomy and fusion, a stabilizing uh, procedure uh, which rigidly fixes uh, that part of the spine. To stabilize his spine and alleviate his pain, Keith opted for a less invasive alternative surgical procedure as compared to traditional lumbar spine fusion. This is the Coflex interlaminar device, a functionally dynamic implant that provides surgeons like Dr. Davis with a less invasive tissue sparing procedure and patients with a faster recovery time. The Coflex procedure is actually a two-stage procedure. The first stage is a standard decompression whereby laminotomy or laminectomy is achieved uh, by removal of the bone, the ligament, uh, the overgrowth materials that contribute to the spinal stenosis. The second stage of the procedure is the stabilization procedure, which in the case of the Coflex device involves distraction or placing the spine in its optimum condition for function and for maximizing space, and then stabilization for fixing the device to the spine to control abnormal motion. Uh, the net result is an improved outcome. The only non-fusion interlaminar process surgical implant with a proven clinical history of sustained positive results over an extended period of time, the Coflex also provides necessary stabilization and controlled, restricted motion to treat the pain associated with spinal stenosis. If you look at the differences between the Coflex device and traditional spinal fusion, it's pretty obvious. The Coflex device is much less invasive versus traditional spinal fusion. What you can't see by looking at the models is the main difference of the Coflex device providing anatomic motion for the patient, whereas the spinal fusion restricts the motion and changes the quality of life for the patient. We've implanted the device for over 15 years globally. In fact, we've implanted over 50,000 devices. So the good news for our U.S. population is this has a very good, successful clinical track record. Our plan by introducing the Coflex into an IDE study with the FDA was to not only provide this product to the patients, but to show that it's efficacious and safe and it provides a better clinical value than the current alternatives of spinal fusion. As a surgeon, I find it always gratifying to be able to help patients, be that with a fusion or by whatever means available. In this instance, with the Coflex, I'm especially gratified in being able to offer tremendous relief of symptoms and allowing patients like Keith to get back to their normal lifestyles in a minimally invasive, uh, less invasive fashion. I met Dr. Davis and he explained both procedures to me, the fusion versus the cold flex device, and I felt in very capable hands. He was uh, very knowledgeable, answered all the questions I had and relieved my uh, anxiety. Dr. Davis performed the cold flex procedure about two years ago. I was walking the day I had the procedure done out of the hospital in a week and been walking ever since. I'm a commercial diver by trade. I'm in the construction industry. I can do anything. I can go camping, water skiing, hiking, lift weights every day, go to the gym, and I've had no problems. I don't even think about it. I would recommend this procedure hands down. It, it's changed my life and radically changed everything that I've done. And it, it, everything I had tried up to this point did not work. The Coflex device offers a solution which is uh, less expensive, a solution that is much quicker, which translates into less operative time and, uh, and certainly less uh, morbidity for the patient. 
a solution that offers uh, the patient a more rapid return to work and, and normal activities, which again has serious ep uh, economic implications. Well, Paradigm Spine is not just a one product company. In fact, we've introduced other non-fusion products for the spine already in various worldwide markets. The Coflex brings us a clinical trial product that shows superiority, hopefully, and a long history of success in addition to the products that we make available today for non-fusion applications. So Coflex is just a piece of the puzzle for the whole uh, introductory plan of all of our products. Uh, one of the most enjoyable things about my job as president of Paradigm Spine is when I run into surgeons or I get calls from patients who have received products from Paradigm Spine and they just tell me how they've not only changed their life, but it's given them their lives back. If you're suffering from the varied symptoms of spinal stenosis, learn more about the Coflex device and Paradigm Spine, the movement in spinal care. For more information, visit ParadigmSpine.com.